What's up? Today let's talk about lenses a little bit because everyone is talking about new cameras all the time but at the end of the day lenses are way more important. And that's why I want to share some of my all time favorite lenses with you so you can decide if one of these lenses are great for your own setup. So let's get straight into today's video and let's talk about the RF 35mm 1.8. This lens is actually a lens that I use a lot and on top it's one of the cheaper RF lenses. You can get one of them for around 500 euro and that's a fantastic price for such a lens. And yes, the overall image quality of the RF 35mm 1.8 macro is absolutely stunning. I personally use it for a variety of photography sessions and it never let me down. On top it's a macro lens so you can actually get all these nice and crispy details as well. Of course as always if you buy one of those cheaper RF lenses the autofocus motor is a little bit louder but if you want to shoot videos it actually slows down a little bit so you won't have any issues here. I actually use this lens to record most of my videos including this one here on my channel so yeah you can easily use this lens for video as well without having any huge issues. So basically if you're looking for a really nice prime lens that you can use for a variety of things I can highly recommend the 35mm. Next let's talk about another lens that is always in my camera bag and here I need to mention the RF 24-105 f4. This is by far one of the most versatile lenses that I always recommend if you want to build a basic setup that you can use for most of the things. So in most cases when I don't really know what kind of photos I want to take or if I don't know the location or anything else like that I mostly start with the 24 to 105. Because yeah I can take some awesome wide shots using 24mm, I can take some great portraits with 35, 50 or 85mm and I can zoom all the way in up to 105mm if I need to get really close to my key element. So for me it's nearly an all-in-one lens and that makes this lens so special because especially in situations where you don't know what kind of things you need to do it is always annoying to switch between lenses all the time. But let's talk about the image quality of this lens a little bit. I tested this lens in a variety of situations like event, nature and street photography and I always loved the final result. Of course you will notice the f4 limitation in low light situations but especially if you work with some newer cameras this is still fine. If you want to see some more sample images definitely head over to Instagram and follow me there. That's a perfect place to see some more before and after shots and a lot of examples of a variety of lenses. The next lens that I need to mention is my all time favorite, the 70-200 2.8. This one here is the EF 70-200 2.8 IS2 and it's fantastic in combination with the RF mount. However what I definitely need to mention is that I will switch to the RF 2.8 version in the future because I've tested it for some time now and I really enjoy the compact size of it. And that's a perfect opportunity to talk about the workflow and yes this lens is another great versatile lens. It offers a great range that you can use for all kind of photography genres. So for example events, sports, wildlife or even basic portrait photo shoots are possible. And yes especially in cases like sports or event photography you just need the range and that's why this lens is such a great opportunity because it combines a really nice range from 70 up to 200mm without any big downsides. It's just perfect for a variety of situations and I always have it in my camera bag because especially if you need the flexibility the 70 to 200 is a perfect choice. I mean for sure 200mm is long but it's not overkill and of course for wide light photography it can be too short but you can easily use a 2x converter to get some more reach here. So especially if you like to take a variety of photos just get the 70-200. to And on top if you combine it with a 24-105 to f4 or 24-70 to you're basically set for most of the things. But yeah to wrap it up here really quickly if you want to buy a versatile lens for a variety of photography journals with a great build quality the 70-200 to is one of the best options. On top you can easily get the f4 version if you don't need any 2.8 advantages for any low light situations but as soon as you want to get started with event or sports photography I always recommend the 2.8 version because yeah it just makes the whole workflow way easier. And the last lens that I want to mention is actually a bonus lens that I want to recommend especially for all the beginner photographers out there the 50mm 1.8 because yeah the ear version costs around 100 euro and if you buy it on sale you can get this lens for 80 to 90 euro and that's a great price. So even if something happens and this lens breaks you can easily replace it because it's not a huge amount of money that you have to spend to get a new one. The RF version costs around 200 euros so it's a little bit more money but it's still fairly cheap especially if you compare this lens with all kind of other lenses that are out there. So especially for small budgets that's a perfect opportunity here and one of the main reasons why I bought this lens as a beginner photographer. And yes the image quality of this lens is really good. I use this lens for all kind of photo shooting so for example nature and product photography and I always loved the results. And please don't forget here that we are talking 
about the 80 to 100 euro lens. And on top the 50mm is a 1.8 lens, so it lets a ton of light in and that's really helpful in low light situations. But all in all the main reason why I can highly recommend this lens is that the 50mm 1.8 is such a great lens for beginners. Back then I had no clue what kind of lenses I need or should buy, so I simply started to check out all kind of lenses and this lens was on sale for around 90 euro. So I bought it to check it out and I still use it from time to time. In my opinion it's an incredible lens for everyone who wants to get started without spending thousands of bucks for a new lens and it's not a huge deal if it breaks because of the cheap price. So if you're looking for a cheap lens that you can use for a variety of photography genres I highly recommend to check out the 50mm 1.8. But yeah these are some of my favorite lenses. Question of the day, what is your favorite lens? Write it down in the comments. So. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you need, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay updated for our upcoming videos and I'll see you in the next video.